Happy Monday. Happy Monday. everyone, I'm Denise and welcome back to our channel. Today I am accompanied by my two boys. Yeah, accompanied by both of them. Today is Monday, so happy Monday. Happy Monday to everyone. I hope that y'all are having a great day. Today we're actually going to be having more of a relaxing day. It's kind of gloomy out, kind of cloudy, a little rainy. So we're just going to sit in and relax. I hope you guys saw my Sunday vlog where I update you guys on what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be having a... Hi. You leaving? Okay, see you later. We're going to be having a new segment of like a weekly update vlog style. So Monday through Friday, I'm going to be filming every day, giving you guys a little daily update. And then at the end of the week, you guys are going to see our whole entire week all together, Monday through Friday. So this is just a kickstart and starting it off. Like I said, today is a little gloomy day, so we're just going to be relaxing, chilling in, watching some movies or some shows. But hopefully today these guys fall asleep and they give me a break, that way I'm able to fold some laundry. Because yesterday I washed a whole lot, I cleaned like the whole entire day. Because, let's see, I want to say the day before, on Saturday, these guys gave me such a hard time. Like, my toddler was just being so wild, and then this little baby right here, he would not let me put him down. So, if you guys have kids, you already know how it is. If your kids don't let you put them down in a chair, or in the swing, or in the crib, or put them down anywhere, like, you can't get anything done at all. So, that was my day on Saturday. I couldn't do anything, so my house was a complete mess, and I just hated that. Like, I hate not being able to do anything. But yeah, so that like sucked. And then it was crazy because the next day, on Sunday, I was able to do everything that I wanted to do the day before. It was so crazy. I don't know. I guess there's good days and there's bad days. But I was able to do everything. I swept them up all the floors in my house. I washed a bunch of clothes. I actually didn't get to fold them, so maybe I'll be able to do that today. But yes, I was able to take my dog out. We went for a walk. And that was just so good to do. And all thanks to these guys give me a break which is so hard to get I am going to have a video out where I talk about how to get things ah. done with having a baby yes it's going to be my little guide on how to help you guys get things done when you have your baby and I know there's not always perfect days where you get everything done sometimes they just cry and they want you to hold them and it is completely okay to do that your house does not need to be completely spotless and clean 24-7, so it is okay when your babies don't want you to put them down. It's okay. It is a-okay to just hold them for the whole entire day, and then maybe you get a break the next day or another day or another week, you know. What else are we going to do today? Yeah. Oh, yeah? What's that? <laughs> But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, we're just going to relax today, chill, watch some movies, maybe have some popcorn. Hopefully, if they give me a break. Oh, you got the pacifier? Yeah, why are you eating the pacifier? It's for the baby. You want to give it to him? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, you're so nice. You got to turn it. Uh-oh. Nice. Good job. He said, thank you. Later on, if they fall asleep and I'm able to, I'm going to try to fold some laundry today because, like I said, I did so much. Oh, like, no. What's like? <laughs> since I couldn't do much on oh, Saturday, mommy. I was like, let me wash mommy. as many clothes as I can oh, on okay. Sunday. So that's what I did. So right now, there's like, <laughs> right now, there's no dirty clothes at oh. all. Maybe just one small basket. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Maybe just one small basket, but that's it, which is not a lot at all. Like, usually at moments, we will have, like, six or seven, six or seven baskets of clothes that are either dirty or clean or both. It always feels so good to have stuff clean. Oh, I actually want to let you guys know, I am actually not able to get any real breakfast for myself today. Usually, I'm able to cook a little something, but today, I'm only going to have some little muffins and some... 
and the little orange fruit cup. That's what we're going to have for Hi. breakfast today. And for my son, he really doesn't eat a lot for breakfast. Some days he does, and some days he doesn't, you know, since he's a toddler. They're at the stage where they eat a lot some days, and they eat a little bit other days. And that's, like, completely normal, especially since he's... <laughs> Especially since he just turned two, like, a few months ago. He definitely does not eat that much. Like, here and there, he'll eat a whole lot, but other than that, he really doesn't. So, he's just having some juice and a granola bar for breakfast, and he will be good until lunchtime or after his nap. He usually eats breakfast late in the morning, and then he'll have, like, a late lunch around 2 or 3 after his nap. And then we'll have dinner around, I want to say, 7 or 8. I also wanted to add that recently I've been watching the show on Netflix called The Circle. I already seen the first season when the show first came out a few months ago or maybe last year. Uh oh, I feel like a pacifier. Yeah, I did watch the show when it came out and it was pretty good, I have to say. But this time around, season two, I've been watching it. I feel like it's so funny. I haven't finished it. Right now, I'm on the episode where they decorate the mannequin and they, they get close to figuring out who's a catfish and who's not. And I feel like this episode is so funny so far. <laughs> so maybe before we watch a movie, I'm definitely going to catch up and finish up that episode. So if you guys watch that show, comment down below. Do you think that they're going to find out who's a catfish, who's not a catfish? and who's going to get blocked, let me know down in the comments below. If we do anything at all exciting today, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for the moment, that's it. Again, happy Monday, and see you guys on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. For us, it's been another chill day. I actually didn't get to do the laundry like I wanted to yesterday, so we're gonna attempt to do it again today. My other son is sleeping right now, and this baby, he just woke up. Oh look, did he go back to sleep? Oh, I think he went back to sleep. Okay, so now they're both sleeping, which is good. I can finally like go eat something. Today I did a little makeup because I was thinking about doing a video today, another Kia Babies video, because I received, I received this baby book from Kia Babies, again, thank you so much Kia Babies, this theme here is SeaWorld, and the other one is Wonderland, I did a very in-depth review of that book, yeah, the only difference is the theme, so this one's more like blue and water type of vibe, and the other one was more green and earthy and plants type of vibe. Yeah, so that's the difference between those. But like I said, I am thinking about doing a review on that, even though I already did a very in-depth video on the first baby book that I received. But comment down below if that's something that you would want to see. Oh, today I also was able to almost finish a video. So that's pretty much what we have going on for today. Like I said, it's been a chill day. <laughs> it's been a chill day. I'm going to feed this little baby right now. So I will see you guys on Wednesday.
Good morning, happy Thursday. Today we're gonna be doing a very, very quick get ready with me. So you're gonna see me putting on my makeup, get ready, and this is gonna be like a, I wanna say 10 minute routine, maybe less. Yeah, so let's do an update, Jay, for Thursday. Hmm? Okay. I actually wanted to tell you guys that I, I'm gonna be getting two more products from Kia Babies. And oh my gosh, one of them is a lifesaver. It's a baby wrap. Oh my gosh, such a huge lifesaver. I really need this because I can't hold my baby 24-7. And being able to hold him in the baby carrier and like walk around and take care of my other toddler, like chase him around and stuff, it makes it so much more convenient to have a baby carrier. So oh my gosh, I can't wait to do that review. And then if you guys have a baby, oh my gosh, that baby carrier, it's going to be a lifesaver. I'm going to enter a picture of me holding my baby in the baby carrier. It's just cute, convenient, life-changing. It's seriously wonderful, you guys. Like, y'all really need it. Like, if you feel like you can't get anything done throughout the day, then this baby carrier is, like, literally going to change your life. <laughs> change your life sounds so dramatic but no really like once I put my baby in it like I was ready to go do everything that I needed to do because that's just how convenient it's freaking getting hot in here yeah like it's literally a lifesaver you can do anything with that baby carrier on I'm actually gonna be doing two uh product reviews with that the other thing that I received was another baby memory book I got it for my firstborn they gave me the first baby book, which was for my newborn, because he was, he was born like, I want to say two weeks. He was two weeks old when I received that book, so that book is specifically for him. And now I'm going to be getting a, another book. Or right, now I have a second book that's for my firstborn. But yeah, the second book is for my other son. And today I was like feeling super tired, so I decided to drink a coffee for the first time. I'm not a coffee drinker at all, and I think it's working. I don't know. I feel like sometimes when people drink coffee, they're like, it's not working, and they drink more coffee, even though it's still not working. But I don't know. I think it's working. You think it's working, Jay? Hmm? Huh? Do you even know what coffee is, man? Oh, and yesterday I finally did laundry. Thank goodness. I feel like. Since I started, since I started doing this recording vlog, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do the laundry. Oh, I'm going to do it. And then, like, I literally did not do it until the end of the week, which is how, like, all the tasks go. You say you're going to do something, and then you start it later on. But that's just life, isn't it? That's just the life of procrastination. So, I don't know if you guys like muffins or not, but... Walmart has these like fresh baked muffins and they're freaking delicious. Like I can literally eat a whole box in one day. It's these. These muffins. Is that? And those are freaking delicious. I feel like ever since um I was pregnant with my first son, I just like fell in love with triple chocolate muffins. And I can eat a whole box like whenever they're given to me. Yeah, I can, like, definitely eat a whole box. Not this box, but the one before. I literally ate the box in one day. It was two strawberry muffins and two triple chocolate. I literally ate all four of them in one night. I feel like I'm sweating this off. I'm also trying to be really quick, too. Well, that's with every makeup video. Super quick. Oh, I wanted to do this first. Like, why is she putting on white mascara? But this is primer. I don't know if it really works. I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest. But maybe it does. There's also this thing that you can do where you put on the mascara, whether it's primer or not, and you put powder over it, and then you put more mascara on, and that definitely makes a difference. So I've kind of been doing that whenever I put on, um, like, the second powder. Yeah, I kind of, like, let this powder fall on top of it. Who knows if it makes a difference. Like I said, maybe in person you could tell. Wow, that looks really freaking nice. Hmm. So the mascara literally fell and stopped the video. I'm like, oh, thanks mascara. Really needed that, man. And then I got mascara on my face. Black mascara is the enemy. Okay, yeah, so I think we're done. 
Do you have a thing? Eyeliner? Mascara? Oh, mascara is just getting everywhere. What's the deal, mascara, huh? Okay, so what else do I want to tell you guys? Well, yeah, so yes, I'm going to be recording those Kia Baby product videos. And they actually have, like, fast delivery. I believe my package came, like, two days. I ordered it one day and it was there. It was there in 36 hours. So that's quick. Yes, I want to do highlight and then that's it. What's up? We eating? Oh, watermelon. This boy right here, he freaking loves fruit. Yeah, I got Show me watermelon. Mmm, tastes good, right? Tastes good. Watermelon is delicious, huh? What's your other favorite fruits, huh? Huh? Oh my gosh, and I just finished editing, mm -hmm. um, oh, the Don't Buy Baby Toys video. Oh my gosh, I hope you like it. I feel like it's so funny. Well, not funny, but it just shows you that kids literally will play with anything besides baby toys. He did choose, like, other toys here and there. Mommy, <laughs> he did choose other toys here and there, but literally majority of random household items he chose to play with. But anyways, that's it for Thursday morning. I will see you guys on Friday. Happy Friday. Good morning, everyone. Today, on Friday, we're going to be doing a get ready with me. So I'm dressed and I got my makeup ready to go. So, yes, happy Friday. It's the end of the week. Last day of this vlog style video. I hope everyone's having a good morning so far, a good Friday. And let's see, what are we going to be doing today? Well, every morning, you guys already know, I like to make my son breakfast, make sure he has something to eat, give the baby a bottle, make sure he's good and fed. After they're all settled, I like to make sure that I clean all the baby bottles because the baby bottles from at night and then like during the middle of the night. Because the baby, I want to say he eats like two times. He has like two bottles at night. So then by the time in the morning, well, and my son also has, my oldest son also has a bottle of milk at night too when he falls asleep. So by the time the morning comes, that's like four baby bottles that need to be cleaned. And then if we miss one from like, you know, the other day, yeah, if we miss one, then that's five baby bottles that we got to clean in the morning, five or six. Or no, after I make sure that kids are good, I wash like all those bottles and stuff so that there's not a whole bunch by the end of the day, which would be a freaking lot. Like I used to do it like that. I used to just feed the baby all day and then not even worry about the baby bottles. But then when I needed a bottle, all of them were dirty and I'm like, okay, this is not a good way to do it. So now I've been washing all of them in the morning and then throughout the day when I feed him, when I feed the baby, I make sure that I clean the bottle as soon as it's done. Like if he finished it or didn't finish it and he was no longer hungry, I always just bring the bottle right to the sink and wash it like right away. And that really helps with like the buildup of bottles. I don't know if other people do it differently or if I have just been doing it like a weird way this whole time. Oh, that's more yellow than I wanted. Yeah, I feel like washing the bottle as soon as the baby's finished with it, then like the bottles don't build up. I wish I would have known that with my first son because we just had dirty bottles all the time, all over the place. And then since we fed him in bed also, he would find bottles like days later. Like when the heck do we feed him this one, you know? So there was just bottles everywhere all the time. This is probably looking like a total hot mess, but it's going to look better in the end. Hopefully. Hopefully. Also, today, Friday, 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 I'm going to be posting the video of my son with the baby interview. I'm going to be doing that today, so that is so exciting. I hope you guys watch it. Probably, most likely by the time that I post this video, that one's already going to be up, so I'll just link it right here. That way, after this, you guys can just watch it and laugh, and I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. I think it's a pretty funny video. Yeah, because my son, he's talking so much now, like, and he doesn't stop talking. <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, he's talking so much all the time. And it's like, I don't really curse that much, like, maybe here and there. And, like, now I have to make sure I, if I do want to curse or say anything, I have to, like, replace what I'm going to say. Or just, like, peek around to make sure he's not around. <laughs> because now he's, like, just repeating everything that he hears. Like, 
in his one um kid songs that he watches they say tidy up i don't know they have some song about cleaning up and tidying up and like he literally sings along it's so cute so yeah that video is gonna be out it's funny he's so adorable he's also playing a video game at the same time i was like should i let him play this but then i know like he won't sit still for anything else but in becomes i was like okay i'll just let him play this game and I ask him questions. I think it worked out pretty well though. He was like distracted. Well, obviously. I do think you guys will find it funny. And also if you guys have kids, I recommend you guys do that because it's so adorable to like hear kids respond to like what they hear or what you know what they think you're asking them. Also today I'm going to be making some empanadas. I'm gonna try to. I have to go somewhere at a little after 12, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to, but I really want to. Like, do you guys ever take out meat from the freezer to let it thaw, and then by the time you have to cook it, you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. And it's already been like that for like two days now. I'm like, okay, or one day, yeah. I was going to make them yesterday, but I was so tired and had a headache, and I was like, uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And I'm like, oh crap, I gotta be somewhere tomorrow. I'm like, and then I don't wanna wait until tomorrow because it's gonna be even harder to do. I don't know, do you guys ever do that? Like, ever just procrastinate? And then like, the last chance that you have to do it, you have to do it or else. With my eyeliner, I always try to make it like so even. And then they just like always look different. Like, how does that freaking happen? Okay, so I think we're almost done. This eyebrow is looking like very thick. But you know how you fix that? When your eyebrows are looking thick, you just foundation. And I feel like that helps because it goes over the edges. It doesn't stand out as much. And then you can go back in with the eyebrow brush. And then just like bring it down a little bit. I don't know why. I feel like I always, always like this eyebrow more. And then I feel like I mess up on this eyebrow. I have to go back and make this one look ugly to make it match up. And then I just have like two crazy bushy eyebrows. It also helps, like I said, in my makeup video, it also helps if you tweeze your eyebrows. But I feel like I don't like really have time. I just jump in and just start doing my makeup and don't even like think about tweezing them. I feel like with tweezing them, you have to be like so precise. And I'm like, ugh. I don't got the time, I don't got the time. So good, help this concealer. I don't know why I keep like just referring back to my other makeup video. But I do highly recommend the e.l.f. palette. I do recommend this one, the contour palette. Because it has like the highlight from your white concealer on your eyelid to make the eyeshadow pop. Like it's good for that. You could use primer, but I feel like why use primer when you just have the concealer right there? So yeah, I just like to do that to make it bright. And to fix my eyebrows underneath, I can use one of the medium shades for underneath my eyebrows. And that's like a nice color. It doesn't look like too much on camera, but it's like a whole lot in person. People probably sitting next to me be like, what the heck, why she got so much eyeshadow under there? Now, I already did the black on the mascara, but I'm going to go back again. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I freaking love long eyelashes and putting on like pounds of mascara those are like literally all together oh you can't see no you can't see because of the eyeliner okay also when you're putting on mascara and your eyebrows get clumped together like if you're using a brush like this it'll make them like all clump together it, it will put on a lot of mascara but it'll also make them all clump together but if you have a brush like this one i hope you can see the difference oh you can't even see that you have a brush like this I don't know if you can see like those little ridges those are brushes and they're pretty long and they really help separate the eyelashes and it's like this one has less mascara on it but it also has a lot of brushes that help to separate so then if you go back and forth between this one and then this one the one that has a lot of brushes and then the one that puts on a lot of mascara can, like keep on brushing them out adding on more and brushing it out and that's what I do because I like long eyelashes with a lot of mascara and I just hate which I just did it twice 
I hate when I get mascara like what's it at? Look at free. I hate when I get it right there in the corner of my eye, right there on my eyeshadow. I hate that. But that's the price of putting on pounds and pounds of mascara. And let's see how we're gonna fix this. We're going to use the end of this to roll it over, take it off, and then put the eyeshadow back there, do the same thing. It's like nothing even happened. Actually, I really like, I feel like yellows, like on brown skin, oh, I feel like yellow and like gold and orange colors, like really just open up your eye, like. <laughs> what am I even doing? Okay, I'm done with my makeup. Like I said, I'm not going to put highlight because I put concealer under there, but it's all done. I really like these colors because... I also think they make your eyelashes look so much longer like when I do my makeup I should not put on eyeliner because it will just make my eyelashes look so much longer and since there would be a lot of mascara on them it will kind of make it look like there's like a little eyeliner line but for now I really like how this looks what am I doing what am I even doing I'm wasting time when I have stuff to do I have empanadas to go make before 12 o'clock so I literally have like 45 minutes Actually, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it an hour on the dot. Oh, so maybe I do have enough time. But anyways, you guys. Actually, I'm gonna do one more thing. I think I should darken up the crease a little tiny bit. If I mess this up, I'll be so upset. But anyways, anyways, anyways. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Like I said, this is the end. This is the last day of this vlog because I recorded Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then today is. Friday. So that completes this whole weekly vlog. Makeup is done by the way. That completes this whole weekly vlog of videos. So I really do hope you all enjoyed this new type of video that I made. This new weekly vlog, daily vlog style video slash get ready with me slash chit chat glam whatever you guys want to call it. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to comment down your favorite part which day of the week was your favorite. Please let me know. Subscribe or join the family. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.